Hi, Ants. My name is David Dean, and I am the digital media manager here at OETA. And I am lucky to be graced by the presence of Robert Birch, OETA's movie club host. He's beloved. Hello, Robert. How are you? Hi, everybody. Doing pretty good. You? Yeah. I am well. I am warm. So I am thankful for that. Uh, we is. are in, stuck inside this little Oklahoma snow globe. <laughs> it's a little wild. Yeah, yeah, too chilly. It's you know, it's great movie watching. I was just weather. about to say, snuggling up on the couch with the blanket yeah. is absolutely that kind of weather. And <laughs> before <laughs> before we jump into the awesome movie that we have uh, that we're featuring this week on Movie Club, um, I know a lot of the audience wants to know uh, where has Robert Birch been and when is he coming back to uh, to movie to the Movie Club studio? And uh, so I wanted to give you the opportunity to kind of uh, let the audience know. Well, like most uh, everybody, uh, I'm stuck at home for all this time. Um, we, uh, we're hoping uh, that we'll be back in the studio. Uh, we'll have uh, for the 28th of this month, but uh, we're, we're waiting for the numbers to go down uh, statewide before we head back in. You know, there's uh, so many people that have to be in the control room or the studio when we, uh, when we do the show and we just want to make sure everybody's safe. So uh, we've been watching from home as everyone else has. Absolutely. And I think our audience mostly wanted to know that uh, you were safe and that you were doing well and healthy. And uh, uh, so I've been trying to let them know Robert's fantastic and uh, and he's doing well, but I know they're all, they will all be excited once you are uh, back in the studio under safe circumstances uh, to continue to host um, the OETA Movie Club. Um, yes, I've been doing my exercises, eating right, you know, a uh, little little growth uh my covid beard here but yeah. uh yep we all have something that. yeah something from covid that whether it's uh whether it's a beard or long hair that i've never had before it's it's something um <laughs> but better safe than sorry for sure so uh yeah. this week um on saturday oeta movie club as our audience is well aware airs on saturday nights at 9 p.m on oeta and uh, we are very excited about this week's movie club because it is the cult classic. I have a guest who's going to be joining me right now. It is the uh -huh. cult classic movie from 2000, <laughs> the mockumentary Best in Show from Christopher Guest. And I am so excited to talk about it. It is uh -huh. one of my favorite movies of all time. And this is Max. And hey, Max. I have to, to clarify the breed just in Best in Show style. He is a mini poodle and he is not a show dog, um, but he loves Best in Show. <laughs> what uh, I grew dog. up with this, uh, I grew up with this movie. Uh, my parents were big fans, so I started watching uh, Christopher Guest movies uh, early on. Um, first of all, what's your what are your thoughts on Christopher Guest films before we jump into Best in Show? Well, he loves this uh, this genre of you know sort of the mockumentary, and I'm not sure. Uh, if he didn't really invent this back uh, with uh, Spinal Tap yeah. when it came out. Uh, but uh, I love all of these, uh, you know, Spinal Tap, uh, A Mighty Wind, yes. um, Best in Show. And I think there was uh, another one that came out not too For your long ago. Consideration is yeah. one. Yeah, that was that was really good too. I feel like that's one of the more uh, underrated uh, Christopher Guest films, but they're all so rewatchable. They are all so fun and all very good. I think my two favorite are probably A Mighty Wind and Best in Show. Um, those yeah. are both just like every line is quotable. When I was re-watching uh, Best in Show, just the way they do the left foot, the two left feet joke is just chef's kiss it's so perfect um i love the style that they do and uh what are um when you rewatch this i know that it had been a while since you've seen best in show uh what was the experience that you kind of uh, had with it when you watched it um yeah i love eugene levy i've uh he's brilliant i think uh ever you know from sctv i was a big fan you know he does a spot on floyd the barber from uh, the Andy Griffith show. Um, now, and he and Catherine O'Hara together uh, in all of these films. Yeah. He's, uh, they're on uh, that, that Netflix series right now, Shit's Creek. Uh, it's uh, S-C-H-I-T-T-S, but it's a, it's a great series on Netflix and they're wonderful together. Yes. Um, and, and this whole cast uh, pretty much 
for most of Christopher Guest's um, mockumentaries, uh, he keeps the same people, even some of the minor out outlying characters. He uh, uh, he likes working with the people he knows. Absolutely. Fred Willard, too, is so great in this. And, and yes, in all of them and rewatching this in, in particular, just remembering how he steals the scene in every one of Christopher Guest movies at some point. But that's the crazy thing about the actors and his cast is that they each steal a scene at some point in the movie, even if they have three lines. Uh, it yeah. is they are just incredible the way. And I think are most of them improvised from what I'm to understand? Um, you know, I was reading about this, uh, studying up for today, um, and there's there was only a very um, sparse treatment, 16 pages that was written for this. It's almost completely ad lib. Yeah. And so, you know, that tells you really in a nutshell why Christopher Guest likes uh, having these these particular people in his films. Yeah, they're fantastic. And seeing... Uh, um... Catherine O'Hara and uh, and um, Eugene Levy together after rewatching Schitt's Creek, like you know, I've seen every episode, and now they're nominated for uh, um, for Golden Globes, and they won Emmys last year. It's so fun to go back and see them on screen again. From yeah. this came out in two thousand, so what twenty one years ago, and to see them just that the, that spark is always it's a comedic spark that I think is almost untouched. And I love Jane Lynch too. She's yes. fantastic and everything. Um, the, uh, the even an actor that doesn't speak in this, the old man that's in the wheelchair, the the rich old man. That's uh, Blue from uh, one of my favorite films, uh, Old School. Oh wow, that's right. Yes. Oh yeah. my gosh, that's perfect. And um, my boy Blue. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and he plays, oh, he's the husband. Oh my gosh. Uh -huh. split, split pea soup. Yes. Oh, yeah. I have not put that connection together. That is so perfect. Um, so what are some of your, uh, this film I think has so many quotes and so many memes and so many gifts and it's just become such a, a cult classic. Do you have a favorite scene from the film that stands out or what are a, one or two of your favorite uh, scenes from the film? Well, I love Fred Willard. You know, uh, his character was actually patterned after uh, Joe Gargiola. Uh, I don't know if you would remember him. He was a, a sports commentator, a former athlete, sports commentator for many years. And uh, apparently one year, uh, ABC grabbed him, uh, pushed him into a chair and said, do this dog show. And so... <laughs> a lot of this is a lot of Fred Willard's uh, just the character is based on him, but he's got all these just insane lines. It's it's uh, he's my favorite. Yeah, I don't think anyone else could pull off the lines the way he does. Uh, it's just <laughs> something. It's that Fred Willard magic that he adds to the lines. And uh, yeah. I was kind of going through some of the quotes. I think uh, the Terrier song is very popular. Uh, God loves a Terrier. <laughs> Uh -huh. So I had that stuck in my head for a few days. And, um, and then uh, there's so many other uh, um, fun quotes. Uh, <laughs> that I, but it, it's not even the quotes. It's the way that they're, the way that um, Christopher Guest is walking through the woods with his dog. And he just says, you know, I like to take him on a walk through the dog before, uh, through the woods uh, before a show. And it's just little things like that, that it's like, it somehow makes sense. That's what I would want to do with my dog if he was a show dog, yet it's so absurd. And I'm like, how do they get away with, with this whole construct? <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, Christopher Guest is as good in front of the camera as he is behind. Um, and this sort of like a just very uh, low key delivery uh, of everybody uh, in this. But I, I love his character in this, Harlan Pepper. Yes. That great uh, Georgia accent, you know, the red hair and and uh, the, you know, as natural, of course, he raises bloodhounds. There's actually, there's a couple that lived in Oklahoma City. They won the Westminster, uh, Westminster Kennel Club uh, Best of Show um, uh, with a bloodhound. Oh, wow. Uh, Wendy and Chuck Musgrove. Chuck works over at Channel 4. And, uh, you yeah, know, but that's what they do. They raise prize-winning bloodhounds. Only you could find a way to tie this back into Oklahoma somehow, <laughs> which I love. Um, so I just briefly want to throw out the cast for everyone who hasn't seen this film yet and is watching it for the first time. 
uh, this Saturday night. Um, and I will say it's not streaming for free anywhere. So uh, you're getting able to, to watch it on Saturday night at 9 p.m. on OETA uh, at no cost. So win-win. But uh, so written and directed by uh, Christopher Guest and co-written by Eugene Levy. Uh -huh. uh, we got Catherine O'Hara, Fred Willard, as we've talked about. Uh, Michael McKeon, John Michael Higgins, Jane Lynch, Jennifer Coolidge, Parker Posey. I could spend another five minutes going down the list of names that he used, uh, that Christopher Guest uses in all of these films. Um, yeah. But they are just magnificent. And uh, Robert, um, I, I know that everyone will be excited to uh, get on the couch, cozy up, get some popcorn, and, uh, and dive into um, the, the, the gem that is best in show. And do you wanna, uh, do you wanna leave it with, um, with a favorite quote or, uh, or, or anything that you would, what's something that maybe in the studio you would, you would throw out that you can't because we're not there? You, you have anything in your back pocket? I miss the popcorn. I miss our popcorn, it's so good. I have let people know uh, two things. I can assure people that Robert does not have two left feet. Uh, he, he actually has a left foot and a right foot and that the popcorn machine will still be there when he returns. And oh, that is 100%. Um, Robert, uh, thank you so, so much for your time. Everyone, you can follow along and preview all of the OETA movie clubs at OETA.tv and on our Facebook page at OETA Movie Club. And uh, everyone, make sure to stay extra warm and extra safe uh, over the next week. And um, uh, stay warm, enjoy yourselves, have a laugh on Saturday night. Robert and I will be watching along with you. And uh, Robert, we appreciate you so much. Thanks, Dave. Thanks, Max. And thanks <laughs> all of you for watching. Yep. Thank you all. Goodbye, Oklahoma.